Welcome, survivors, to another episode of Seven Days to Die, base day one series on Alpha 20. If you're new here, first of all, welcome. This series is all about starting a base out, living in that base, taking the horde base, or taking the hordes on there, and doing all my production all in the one base since day one. We've been doing pretty well. They got through on day seven. We did pretty well on day 14. If you guys would like to catch up, do check the top pinned comment below. In today's episode, however, we are going to be slamming out a whole bunch of trader quests here, uh, trying to get these done. So now that I know where this thing is, we've already, we did this one literally last episode, so it's going to be a quick repeat. I'm going to go ahead, grab myself some wood here, and just nerd pull right up to where it should be. Well, that was easy this time, and actually I was uh, preparing to dig out underneath one of these here and getting it, but this time, the courier's satchel was just on top of here. So there we go, that's nice, easy, cheesy tier two, but that'll slam us through it here. And look at that, he didn't even have to nerd pull that high up at all. Oh, nothing like looting an egg, getting a level, and being hungry all at the same time. Uh, we do have to stop by home here or check the vending machine that might have some more food for us here Or sometimes I leave myself little surprises in the bike because I completely forget about the inventory in there And we just have a wrench and stuff uh, But let's head back to the trader and see what he's got for us. Look at this good stuff We have from the last run. I bought a whole bunch of stuff with our trader coin. We got a nail gun So upgrading on Horde Knight be so much easier upgrading Oof. We bought out the vending machine. I forgot that. Real quick, but let's talk to Trader Act here. What does he have for us? Iron pickaxe, uh, antibiotics, or a shotgun here. We're definitely going to take the antibiotics. 100%. There we go. Because I get that damn crap all of the time, and uh, we can make a better pickaxe. So that is the wise choice, and all... <sighs> See this here? Right here, this nail gun. Uh, how much did I pay for that last episode? Like 6,000 coin or something silly like that? And we got it as a tier 2 complete reward. Wow. Okay, so we have a farm bundle 03. These, these bundles really actually kind of suck. Like a scrap armor? Ugh. Uh, so we have a choice between the nail gun or 50 lockpicks. Now, that's a lot of lockpicks, because it still takes me a while to get through a safe with an iron pickaxe, even. Or we could have a backup nail gun. Not that I've ever needed a backup nail gun. I might regret this later, but we're going to choose lockpick. All right, does he have any special jobs? Let's do uh, tier three opening uh, trade routes, and it's going to be to the north. Let's see where that actually brings us here looks like it's going to bring us whoa well into the desert so that is going to be our next challenge and is getting to that trader there but let's see his jobs here Ooh, okay so we're not seeing tier three let's go and slam out another tier two here i think i either have to reset the game or restart the game or let a night cycle go by you know what guys <laughs> These are all literally the same distance away. Let's go do a Buried Supplies quest. See what a Tier 2 Buried Supplies quest consists of. Uh, without any food. <laughs> Not a great choice. Let's go and talk to the trader here. See what he has for eats. He has some lamb rations. That'll definitely hold us over. Uh, can of pasta. His stuff is so expensive. There we go. Uh, and that's about it. We got a couple charred meat. You know, that's, that's 20 food right there, so we'll take it because we should have, and we do have, a decent amount of water. And here we are, folks. I've been hitting up all of these birds' nests, too. I was throwing the feathers out, but hitting up the nests, these actually stack up. They don't sell for a lot. But I may as well keep them in one slot if I'm going to keep getting them. Because I'm checking those nests. I still want as many eggs as possible because we need those delicious, delicious bacon and eggs. 
Now, I think the best way to tackle this situation here is to dig right down the bedrock. Wow, these buried supplies, actually, the area is not very large at all. Build uh, right down the, the bedrock, but make myself a ramp into it. Because we're going to have uh, zombies constantly coming after us. So if they can track down into the hole and I can just turn around and kill them, uh, I think that would be the best way to do this. And going by bedrock, I know I'll always be able to... Uh, see the see the chest no matter what height it's going to be at. I do believe that's how we did in the Alpha 19 because I was really big on these uh, back then. And for some reason, this Alpha, I completely forgot and thought that the depth changed. But that's what we used to do before is just go right down to the, not bedrock, but the stone layer. I'm sorry. That's uh, my misinformation. Right down to the stone layer and then just kind of digging out from there. I think that's the easiest way. Okay, well, I found it, and that actually was not bad at all I was able to dig through. So what I did was I initially went through, dug right down the end, and then went old school Minecraft style and kind of in a, a tunnel form. Now, this is really how I did it on Minecraft, but it's uh, most similar. Anyway, uh, let's go above here, make sure there just isn't any trouble headed our way, like a massive wandering horde. I think we're good. There doesn't even seem to be any locals. And then we'll pop this bad boy open. There we go. We got, uh, wow, nothing actually that good out of there. Not even any food or anything. Okay, let's go ahead and start bashing some heads here. Well, that was pretty easy. So let's see what the rewards are like for a quest this quick. And, and even taking on the zombies afterwards and during wasn't that bad at all. Maybe we'll pop off a couple of these. Um, maybe this might actually change my mind a bit on doing these quests. Maybe early, early game, they're not so great, but tier two, not so bad. And I do believe they introduced a tier three one as well. So that, that would be interesting to check out. Like a okay, what do we have here? We have uh, five first aid uh, bandages, a steel club, or a mini bike chassis schematic. You know what? Mm, steel club. I know we're using our baton, but that's that's also nice to have. What is the damage on this? Thirty point seven. I mean, it's. It's better. What's the what's the attack speed? It definitely has more of a stamina cost. Uh, this one here has a stamina cost of uh, 14.8. We have a stamina cost of 23.7. But geez, that's pretty good. And we do have points in strength. Let's take a look at our skills here. We have one skill point available. Uh, we don't have any points in Pummel Pete either. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep the steel club as a backup then, but that's like super nice to have. Okay, and let's check out his other jobs here. He has another buried supply, so we're just gonna choose the next one. There we go. Let's get this done.
Oh, wow, I found it. I didn't even notice it. So I dug down this way here and not paying attention. It was actually in the opening the whole time. So I dug the rest of that out. But look at the amount of clay soil we've gotten from doing this too. That is valuable because we need that for our forge and we need to make a whole bunch of cobblestone. We got a level, okay, well, there's things in there. Nothing, once again, uh, really that valuable, but look at all of this free XP walking towards me here. Let's get smashing. Aw, oh, damn. I didn't make it back in time. I was really hoping I could. Oh, well, I guess uh, the rest of the objective objective for the night here is to head back home. I should go and pound myself some stone or even some more iron, too, so that we can uh, start making better things. Or we can go around and uh, check construction sites and look for uh, places that are going to offer me lots in the terms of supplies really easily you know what i'm hungry and stuff we're going home guys well it looks like we got a few friends kicking around once again all the time now seems to be a nightly and daily thing uh which is part of the reason why i chose base day one to be in downtown this time around i've always wanted to do a big downtown playthrough and I just, I wanted to make maps that look like this. And I tried and tried to put uh, hundreds of hours into doing it. And just the absurd amount of time that it took to line things up properly and go back and forth with the ground upgrades and doing all that stuff. Um, I never was able to like properly complete a map. If you guys uh, look in my video history, I think it was Alpha 16. I did make a custom made map. It had like dams and stuff. It was actually... Uh, Pretty damn cool. I was pretty proud of it, but now being able to live this out on a random gen world is just blowing my mind and uh, the fact that modding is so much easier now just die already damn it uh, modding is so much easier than it used to be it's pretty much drag and drop if you guys know how to manage your files uh, if you guys do want to play base like day one exactly the way i'm playing uh spawning in the city in the exact same spot to uh, get you started out check my top pin comments I, I do have the uh, tutorial there for you uh, it's uh, of course it's not monetized or anything because it's just a quick tutorial video to get you guys through but it does go through and show you guys how to install mods as well now i will be making a quick like manually in install mods video oh nice finally some zombie loot uh, here in the near future but for now you can just use that video uh, in order to accomplish that Oh, look at this, a level three iron fire axe. Really don't need it anymore, but uh, that, oh, they don't even sell that well. What if I was to repair this? Let's, let's do this for science. I don't really have a lot of repair kits. 288, uh, it might be worth it once we start pumping out some supplies. Okay, I gotta go get organized, guys. Get some food in me, maybe make some bacon and eggs. See you soon. All right, well, I got a lot going on at home here. I got uh, stuff going into the forge, which I actually should turn off because we don't need to leave that running. Leave the heat or activity map rather low before we take off. And the other thing I, I keep forgetting to make or bring, oh, we have lots of coffee, uh, but coffee. I've been keeping the random coffee beans here and there, which really I should be keeping all of the time. Uh, so we can just make this with some fresh water in one minute and 36 seconds. So I'm going to take one cube out. There we go. Well, actually, okay, we'll have to burn a cube. I like burning cubes. I don't know why. It's a thing. Anyway, I'm going to wait for a couple of these to brew up and then head out uh, to our iron mine. If you guys are new and you haven't seen it over here, this is where I've been pulling out my iron. We need both iron and we need both stone to uh, make cobble and cement and ingots. We're going to need lots and lots of ingots, so uh, let's go ahead and get going.
All right, well, it's just past 5 a.m. here. The trader opens in an hour uh, game time. So we may as well uh, make our way back home, get our stuff filled up, and take a look at what we've got here. So I made myself a whole bunch of cobbles. We have uh, about 1,500, I think. Whoa. 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 -ho -ho. Just talking away, and uh, Doggy comes for a visit here. That must mean there's a wandering horde or something nearby. But you know what? Let's get all the troubles away. Uh, I'm going to go back into the correct here. I like uh, flipping back and forth. If you guys want to uh, flip your drive control, by the way, it is the left mouse button. There we go. So now I can look around. And now it uses my mouse to drive. So it's kind of handy being able to flip back and forth. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're, we're going to get back home. Uh, but before we go, we'll take a look, as I promised. We got 37.57 iron, not a whole ton, but we do have a ton of cobblestone, which we need, and a little bit of small stone we can throw in the forge to make ourselves some more concrete mix, too. Now, hopefully I can find another place that has a whole bunch of that stuff in it uh, so that we can grab it before Horde Night and get some more. Uh, get those ramps and everything upgraded, all the uh, other sides. Because there's still the X pattern, I gotta replace it with the other melee. And then we can finish the triangle pattern around, across the bottom, electrify all the sides, and start building upwards, and then replicating it times four, and then building a superstructure around it. I think that would be absolutely fun. But I am getting ahead of myself. All right, see you guys over at the trader here. I just gotta dump this stuff off. All right, Trader Wrecked, what do you have for us here? We have some 9mm ammo, uh, three first aid kits. You know, I'm going to take those. Those are pretty damn valuable. So, yeah, these uh, there's not too many. Oh, we don't... Oh, no, we actually don't have a digging quest. We just have some fetches and fetch clears. Uh, you know... Let's see how good this fetch uh, clear will be. Utility Refinery 01. Oh, nice. That's one we actually have not hit up yet. That's pretty damn exciting. Look at this. We are good for food here again. Uh, salvage Harvest salvage harvest plus 20%. I think those would be a little more valuable later on in the game. Wow. There's really no food in there anyway. So we have here the Passing Gas Refinery. Now, I believe this is the old one where you used to find a whole ton of barrels in. Completely redone. This actually looks really, really cool. And what is this? Is this a, is this a Tier 3? Guys, did we choose a Tier 3 quest? I didn't, I didn't even take the time to look. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, it's a Tier 3 fetch clear. Oh, damn. Are we ready for this? You know? Let's find out, guys. Okay, here we go. I started it, and I'm going to get myself a screenshot before I get too heavy into that.
Well, that was not a bad tier three at all. That was actually rather easy to clear, and I only got one dog. Oh, this is a way to get up here. Damn it. That was so easy. I had to go back, and I cut through the windows, and wow. Uh, now this is a way. Now we do have 50 locks on us here. Uh, oh, wait. Do we do we have 50 lock picks? We do. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can pick this lock. It's going to be probably much much quicker than it was uh, trying to break through this damn thing. It takes forever. And I got it. So that took eight lock picks, I do believe. Let's look at it here. Oh, no, seven. Okay, that's not too bad. So that was a lot easier. I don't know if I prefer it, but it's nice if you do have the lock picks on you and or you've invested in uh, that lock picking skill, which I absolutely have not. So let's check this weapons bag over here. Ooh, another level six pipe baton. Nice to always have a backup, I guess. Medical supplies, fingers crossed. Oh, look at that. Antibiotics and vitamins. Starting to get some a lot healthier loot now. I'm liking this. Okay, let's go ahead and crack these guys open here. These can actually um, have some good stuff in it. We got, look at this, a wrench. Oh, we got the ratchet schematic, and never mind, we also got the oil schematic from this place, too. Uh, this run has been pretty profitable, I would say, so far. And look at that! Now we can make gas, too. We'll leave the oil there. Don't need it at the moment. We live so close to a desert. Uh, level 4, um, fire axe, oil, and uh, the... Uh, f oh, damn you, I'm trying to talk. The uh, a fuel saver mod for a vehicle. We got our first vehicle mod, guys. This place is pretty damn cool. I like it. All right, let's get out of here and get back to that trader. What a good tier three. Hey, Wrecked, what is up here? He has either wooden bow, antibiotics, three of them, or the gas pecan recipe, which we actually conveniently just got. So I'm going to go ahead, sell off um, all my random stuff to the trader, and uh, double check his inventory, see if he has anything for us here. Ooh, we do have Lucky Looter, Volume 7. You know, I'm going to buy that. So many cuts, so few bandages. Find more medical supplies. Uh, for how I've been playing lately, that's actually a very good idea. There we go. Thinned out the belongings here a little bit. We're going to go ahead and read that Lucky Looter book. Let's take a look here at my skill sets. Uh, we are saving up. Ooh, actually, speaking of... We could cheese this and save ourselves a point, I think. Level six, I do believe, is still only one skill point. So let's take off our glasses here. We're gonna go back in here. Oh, I thought that gave us level one level. Now we're still level six. Am I doing this wrong? Let's go ahead and uh, equip that again. Here we go. Where? Go back in. Okay. Now we're level seven. Oh. They fixed how that works. Oh no, well fixed. They they changed how that works. You actually still have to invest in the point, and then I'm gonna get ahead to level eight. They didn't change how that works. I'm just being stupid, guys. <laughs> so now I'm actually level eight instead of level uh, seven. So I'd have to buy two more points to get up to level nine, and then uh, so forth. So this will save us three levels in the end here. We are rushing level five advanced engineer. That way we can get our steel going as soon as possible. Okay, Trader Rect, what do you have for us for jobs here now? I do kind of want to check out some more buried supplies. And of course, if we go back to tier two, uh, he has some of those for us. And this one is going to be in that direction. The reason I like these right now is because we need eggs for food. So I'm stopping at nest and stuff and pulling all those out. And we need a lot of uh, soil as well. So it's a win-win and we get Trader Quest complete. Okay, here we go. So uh, we're going to be getting sand here, which actually is almost better at this point because we do need a lot of this sand in order uh, to make ourselves uh, some cement, right? So that's a, a little bit of a win. 
But I thought while I was doing this, absentmindedly, I would uh, catch up with you guys here. So, as you guys know, I'm trying to grow. I'm taking it a lot more serious this time around. As you guys can tell, I've been putting a lot more effort into editing my videos, which takes a lot more time. Uh, so I pretty much put down stuff like woodworking and stuff locally. If you guys still want to, you know, grab some merch that's handmade by me, I would love to do that. Uh, there's nothing better than uh, giving something out you made with your hands uh, to a fan, right? Well, not really giving out, but you know, it's just, it's a different experience. Uh, but anyway, I've been needing, and what's, what's really important and what I need to, uh, this time around on YouTube and as a general consensus, uh, among creators is interaction guys. Interaction is huge on YouTube videos right now. And we totally rely on it now, uh, to grow. Like our, uh, viewer retention of course is big and you guys do keep coming back to watch my videos, which I appreciate. Uh, that's huge, uh, but we do need some more interaction on videos to uh, to get some good growth because eventually I want to get out to my own land, uh, settle myself. I want to make a YouTube channel on doing that, and then once I'm settled out there, uh, it'll probably be VR and uh, some crazy stuff by that time. I'm gonna make sure I'm paying attention here. Whoa, get out of there! <laughs> Having a derp of a time. Bam! Holy crap, how did I get how did I get her? That's a that's a nice arc on that swing. I am so hot here too. But anyway, you guys get what I'm saying with going out to the future and uh, building this channel up is a huge part of that goal. Not only will I rely on you guys as viewers coming over and checking out my channel content on there, uh, but I'm going to need the money from this channel in order to do that as well. So once again, guys, I do thank those that uh, watch commercials, watch the whole video all the way through. You guys are literally my best viewers. Oh, look, there it is right there. I found it. Okay, awesome. Let's go take care of these guys out here. Uh, but you guys are my best viewers. Sorry, I'm sinking. Instead of begging every video, you know, you guys uh, hit the like button and stuff. It still feels incredibly awkward to me here. Uh, just getting... <laughs> real with you guys it feels uh, incredibly awkward for me to uh, keep asking you guys to do that so I think what we'll do with this video here is if in one month one month total time this is a win-win for everybody we can get to 2500 likes and 250 comments if we can get there I'll donate 250 dollars Canadian uh, to extra life uh, that's the charity we usually support. Unfortunately, this Christmas, I didn't have time to uh, to do it, which I feel really bad. So I think that would be my way of giving back. So one month from today, if we do hit that goal, then I will donate that money. So guys, please do hit that like button and leave a comment. So I think that's a win for everybody, right? You guys get to have a little bit of fun with an interaction. Uh, the children get to win because they get the money for it. Well, they don't get the money but it goes towards children's hospitals uh so think of the children guys that's pretty much it so say that in the comments if, if you guys understand what i'm saying and if you watched till now uh say think of the children in the com or think of the children oh that was weird in um the comments and that way i know you have received it and also too i do have a lot of members and i want i want to start giving you guys some appreciation too because I, I do appreciate when you can do that uh so if i read my member list out here while I'm killing these guys at the same time, trying to stay alive, being super hot. Wow, they really brought the weather game on this time, too. I'm probably also wearing all of the wrong things here. Okay, I can't look at a list and kill zombies at the same time. That's insane. Let's get rid of this businessman and get down to business. So, yes, want to give a shout out here to uh, Michelle Clellan, uh Pars for his uh, super supporter that's insane buddy uh wheels optional once again welcome back thank you very much uh dark roast bunny a new member as well and coming back with the super supporter victor kim i hope you're feeling a lot better buddy all right guys well there we go i got all the dirty stuff done here we got the digging done let's head back to the trader and see what we got for rewards on this one whoa look what i found guys I found myself a little mini horde. Nothing like a little mini horde here near the end of the video. I was actually getting afraid. I was like, oh no. Am I not going to find one by the end of this episode? We did have the dogs, but I don't know if that was an actual horde or not. Let's give it down, guys. Let's do this. There we 
go. Nothing like a little bit of a horde, so I can barely even walk because I'm severely overburdened. Uh, but we're able to pull that off. No problem. Holy crap, look at the loot in here. Okay, let's get rid of some of this junk then. You know, we could even read this as well. Get that out of our inventory and pull all of that. Now we're finding wrenches and everything. Uh, everywhere. Oh, and look at that. We got some eggs over here. I've been taking these out, but... Screw my inventory here. And there's a stump over here. We have to grab that stump too. All the honey is the good honey, right? Let's see if we can get one from this one. So yeah, I don't know what was with the, the first part of the series. We waited a little bit, guys, and then I got desperate and I was like, you know what? We're gonna go and hit some stumps. Uh, and by the time I was out there, I didn't find any damn honey and we were getting infection faster than we were finding honey and bam. That was it. So two deaths so far on base day one this season, uh, which is a welcome change, to be honest. A little bit of a challenge, making uh, trying to make at least a little bit of smarter decisions and uh, keeping you guys entertained at the same time. Okay, one more stump. Look at all the stumps I'm finding now. And the other thing too is, oh look, there's some more honey, is I was going by foot last time and my stamina was severely limited. So it took forever to find those damn stumps. So wrong way to do it. Anyway, let's go check out, see what we have for awards. rewards. Dead. Okay, what is up, I'm Mr. Recht? He's got some military gloves for us. Steel pickaxe. Um, yes, please. Thank you very, very much. I will take that. We got a steel pickaxe from, what was that, level two? Very, uh, my god. These quests... Starting level two, at least when you have an iron shovel, 100% worth it in my opinion. That's that's insane. Okay, so let's get all of his inventory here. Oh, look at this beauty. Now we can get rid of this um, iron pickaxe here. We'll just take our mod out of it. There we go. And bam, we have it. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much concludes this episode for today. I have run out of recording time. Once again, guys, if you are enjoying the episodes, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the, uh, the next one. Stay classy, and always back up them game saves. <laughs>